G'day, so I just wanted to make a quick one today on um, the ventilation, cooling, air movement inside the greenhouse, a cheap option and simple to do. Uh, so this is just a 12 volt ceiling fan, I won't record that too much because of the uh, strobe effect, but um, so I've got the 12 volt ceiling fan, a um, 10 watt solar panel, that's one option, I've got something else there as well, but uh, the 10 watt solar panel will automatically turn on the fan whenever there's strong enough sun on the front of it. Um, then it will only go while there's sun out, it won't go throughout the night and everything blasting everything below. Uh, now I've placed it up here near the ventilation hole. I also have a, you know, sort of um, temperature control thermostatic plunger there, which will open and shut the um, vent there on the greenhouse. So once it's 23 degrees, that starts to open. I think it's fully open at about 25 28 degrees and then same thing in reverse and it's fully shut by the time i think it's down to 23 or 21 again so that's just an automatic way where i don't have to do anything with it uh now this fan so i'll turn it off quickly i have just come back from a couple of days away so uh, everything was needing a good watering so it's anyhow uh so the fan I've just zip tied up through a gap up there on top. Uh, one thing I'll just say is if you get a breeze through the side, I have just refitted this. I had it here before. Uh, if you get a breeze through, it will hit the side and shatter the blades very quickly. Uh, so this part of the shaft doesn't spin. You can tie a rope around it, tie it to the, you know, drill a hole through, tie it to the side, something to restrain it so that it doesn't move around. Uh, you don't want to lift it up at an angle. It is a ceiling fan, so, you know, if you have that sitting off at an angle, all the bearings or whatever they've got inside that cheap thing uh, will wear away quick. I've had one up here for, uh, it'd be well over a year now. It's gone through winter, summer, basically on every day. Well, unless it was a super cloudy day, it wouldn't have turned on. Um, so, you know, for the 13 bucks they cost me, I bought two of them for 22. Now I think they're a couple of dollars more these days. The same with the solar panel, only cost me 20. So in total, it cost me $33 to have that set up. Uh, that gas strut, I can't remember. It was again off eBay, probably about $35, something like that, but works well. And this greenhouse basically had all the fittings just to screw it straight into place. And I'll just show you the solar panels. So this greenhouse for me is really for when it's going to get to below five degrees outside or depends on the plants to when they go in there. Um, I don't use this all throughout summer. This fan is only a downwards forcing fan. Obviously, if you're going to want to use it as a greenhouse that's housing things throughout summer or whatever, you get, you'd want a reversible fan so that you could uh, use it to draw the heat out. Most of the times the lid would be down here with the temperatures. Uh, the greenhouse is heated, so obviously I'd want it down throughout the night. Um, and that will work to obviously circulate the hot air back down to the bottom and circulate through the greenhouse. Um, yeah, so anyhow, and then in the days where there is sun out, which we do get a lot of sun in Canberra, which is one bonus for doing all this in the greenhouse. Uh, so when that comes out, obviously the circulation fan will help to just, you know, get it so that it's not hot at the top and then cold at the bottom. Uh, so here's the solar panel setup. So very simple, straightforward. The bottom solar panel is a 10 watt one. Uh, if I was searching on eBay for that ceiling fan, I'd just type in 12V for 12 volt uh, ceiling fan. It'd cost you about $18 this day to, these days to buy one. You'd probably get two of them for about $30 approximately. Buy more from Australia, you're not gonna save much buying them from somewhere else. Um, the solar panel, I bought for about $20 a year and a half ago. I'm gonna assume you pay at least $25 for it now, just type into eBay 12 volt solar panel. Um, you could just stick this on top of the greenhouse. You could do anything. I've had this pole set up. I'll show you a bit of it anyhow, but um, as the sun comes, obviously it'll turn it on and it's just a straight two wire, hook up the red to the red and the black to the black. So, you know, nice, quick, cheap setup. The one above, I'll just quickly give you a run through with that. So that's a 60 watt solar panel. I've got it up here so that I can do things like uh, you know, when I get around to it one day, set up a light set up in there uh, just for seeing at night. Come home, you know, in winter when the days are, are shorter, and then at least I'm going there and check everything out. Um, I suppose potentially I could also have some other sort of red LED lights in there and use it on really cloudy days if I wanted. But um, anyhow, it's mainly going to be for all different sorts of ventilation um, lighting, and I can also put a spotlight off this pole just for walking around the backyard. So I've got a marine panel here. 
and that was pretty cheap. That's just used because everything's all set up with the switches, fused, um, voltage meter in there, USB sockets, everything all in one. Uh, just have a deep cycle 12 volt battery there, a cheap eBay 12, 12 volt obviously solar controller. Um, and then down here, when I get around to it again, I do have some things hooked up to it already, but it's a Wi-Fi controlled uh, relay switch. So again, this can work in co-op with the Wi-Fi sensors that I've already got in the greenhouse to control the heaters and the heat lamp. And uh, if the temperature gets to over a temperature, I can have this automatically turn on ventilation fans and the, what I can do is endless. Uh, but yeah, excuse the scenario in here. It's like I started the project, never finished. It's like one of the stories, like a mechanic whose car never works properly because he hasn't got time or doesn't want to deal with his own. So yeah, but I'll get to it one day. Have a good one.